My name is Ime Chukwemeka from Agricultural and Bioresources Engineering and I am here to present a topic on the effect of briquette volume on the physical process of a rice husk or moist lodge briquette, which was provided by engineer Professor Ezoa and assisted by engineer Dr. Obi. A briquette is defined as a uh, defined biomass, a densified biomass which is primarily made for energy purposes. These biomass are formed into pellets of different size and shape and is known as briquettes. Briquetting machine are of two types, screw press briquetting machine and hydraulic jar briquetting machine. Examples of biomass used for briquettes are crushed waste, rice husk, sawdust, and straws, etc. Effect of um, uh, this is um, materials used are uh, rice husk as the major biomass. By my own sludge as the binder, we're going to use the briquette machine. We use the digital weighing scale, we use the stopwatch, we use an hydraulic. And press mechanism briquetting machine, which we're going to see in figure two. And this is the rice and some main sludge mixed together and the briquetting machine and the hydraulic press briquetting machine. Methodologies, you know, method we're going to investigate different, different physical properties, which include moisture content, bulk density, water resistance, durability test, complexity, the relaxation, and relaxation ratio. We're going to check these physical properties against our differences of volume. Now, the process. Uh, Use the casing different of briquettes. The mixture of the rice sauce and primary sludge, which was missing the ratio of one square by weight, was placed into the different modes of briquetting machine. The top cover was closed and tightened. Then, with the help of the hydraulic jack, the lower plate was moved to compact the mixture against the upper cover. And this is it. This is the upper cover. This is the lower cover this is the um, hydraulic jack. So, we're going to mix this and put in these different modes. We're going to close this. Um, Upper lid, the close it very tight and compact this lower lid against the upper lid to get the densified biomass. Now, the different sizes we got here are um, size, one, size one, we got size one to size six, the different sizes, length by breadth by height, because it's a cubital shape briquette. Now, how are we going to get the physical properties of the briquettes? According to Olora Shola and Sotande, all um, we could get the compressed density as weight of briquette on the from mold and calculated volume of briquette on the from mold. So immediately we eject it from the mold, you know, we're going to get the compressed density, which is the weight of the volume. That density can be gotten as the weight of briquette after sun drying and the volume of the briquette after sun drying. So we're going to get the relaxed density after we've sun dried the briquettes. The relaxation ratio is actually the ratio of the compressed density to the relaxed density. The durability is the weight of the briquette remaining on shatter. All over the initial weight. So the briquettes are drawn from a height of 1.5 meter, meters on the on the metal base for to get the durability. In fact, the briquettes that remain on sharp over the initial weight of the briquettes is supposed to be better the briquettes we'll see that in the two. The resistance of the briquet was tested for I mentioned the briquette in a container filled with cold water and measuring the time required for this sort of dispersion. So water result will be gotten from the time of dispersion, then we can see. If this briquette has more water resistance than the other seat in appendix strain. So from our results, we could see that uh, from compressed density, as the size increases, the compressed density also increases. Uh, this is the formula relating compressed density to sizes in volume. This is the formula relating so that it is perfectly correlated, positively perfectly correlated. Now uh, Effect of briquette volume or against its relaxed density. We will know what relaxed density is after sun drying. We will get the relaxed density, the weight over the volume over sun after sun drying. So, as the size increases, we can see that the relaxed density also increases. And we can see the value here. The volume and ratio, we can see that the relaxation reduces as the volume what increases. Um, uh, effect of briquette volume on this reliability. You know what the reliability is. The reliability um, was measured after the briquette was dropped from a height of 1.5 meters. So the weight of unshattered briquettes all over the um, initial weight will get the durability with that formula. And we could see that the reliability reduces with increase in um, briquette volume or briquette sizes. So this means that the larger the briquettes, the lower the durability. See that the it's clearly correlated. You know, um, they could see our formula there. Effect of volume on this water resistance. 
we see that very large briquettes offers lower water resistance. The lower the briquettes, the lower the water resistance. This is our arrow square value and our formula retain it. Now the result of the study shows that the volume of size, volume of rice source from oil storage briquette affect their physical properties. That was I said known facts because we saw the different changes. Compressed and relaxed density increased with increased briquette volumes. Durability and water resistance decreased with increased volume of briquettes. Now we could recommend that more research will be carried out to know the limit of durability for small size briquettes. This is appendix one when I was doing the you know um, relaxed density and the uh, compressed density. This was doing the durability test after dropping from a height of 25 meter, and this is when uh, I did the uh, water resistance test. Thanks for listening.